Why do you like putting on makeup in prison? Oh, because it makes you feel you again outside. Like it makes, it makes you, feel you feel normal. Well, I'm never out of jail. Never out of jail. So it's like you're be second to us, and it, man. Like really, you need to treat it like you're be us. So you just be normal in the jail. You just be you. Well, all we folks, we've got a lot of issues that we need to deal with. And it just takes sometimes the jail to do that. As a repeat offender, Simone knows the admission process well. Obviously, it's always scary your first time coming to jail because you're like, oh my god. You're coming through the gate and you see that big sign, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going out there to say it was not, and it was pure greeting. But I just want to get home, I just want to get home. It's no, it's no, but people make it out to be this big bad. It's no. I can't say it because I'm just used to it. In the last six years, Simone has only spent six months out of prison. Martin. <laughs> Stinking. <laughs> they say this word institutionalised. They tell me that when I was 13 year old. 13 year old, and then when I was 18 when I got sectioned. They tell me I was institutionalised. I was that just to these surroundings. I could not hold no outside. I could not hold no outside world. That's pretty shit. That's no normal for a last eight my age, 24 year old, to be sitting saying, but this is my life, this is what I'm used to. Sometimes I prefer being in the jail than out there. Oh my god, they're in my boat. Great a bit of shoes. What is this sentence for, Simone? Shoplifting's and theft. I it was bad. I, I shouldn't have done it, but I've done it. And I had to. It's that survive word, isn't it? They shit to survive. I've written a day in my life, it's to survive. I've looked after myself, I was 12 year old, and everything I've done is to survive. What happened when you were 12? My mum hung herself. She committed suicide in October 2005. My big brother, he died May 2006. And my big sister, she committed suicide January 2007. So it was boom within 14 months for three of them were gone. We've been these best pals for 14 years. 14 years, not going solid. But I was in Rosie, you know that way. Tweety. Then obviously we have to kill her where she stays with a man. And I was with my bird. And my best pals out there and in here, it's not just a jail friendship. Like, she always says. She's the brains, and I'm the strength. Aye, I'm the brains, and she's the strength. She battles them, and I tell her why she's battling them. <laughs> and I give her a reason. <laughs> Kelly done met me last year, and has chased me ever since. I know, she's beautiful, called you. Yeah, no. I've not got my family, so my pals have been my life, do you know what I mean? And they just make my time in here a lot, lot easier. Like if it wasn't for the glasses in here, sometimes I don't know how I'd get through it. What is that? No, don't need to open unless I'm over it says. Oh, read that out of your mantis. There's one of my coats. <laughs> Birds are like buses, they come every 10 minutes, right? But see me, I'm one of a kind, I'm hard to find. <laughs> nah, Birds are like buses. I've been adopted in every jail. Like, jail mammy's not, do you know what I mean? And like I just said, they become my family. Like, you, you, you carry on with these glasses outside, do you know what I mean? When you get out, you continue to visit or whatever until you're out beside them. And then you've got them out there and also you make a friend for life in here. Tweedy, come here. Can't see you like my Ali she's saying no, and I'm like... Ah, not you. A lot of the glasses I've got close to are lifers. Do you know what I mean? So they're there every time I come in. They're always here. <laughs> you, you tell me today, you move. You're a wee dweeb. Just do more. Would you like another pasta? I like having a job, because when you've got a routine, 
they made your day passes and by the end of the night you're just wanting your door do you know what I mean, to kick back and then that's another night you're undone with. Simone, to deal with, is very up and down. When you get on a good day, she is, she's absolutely fine to deal with. When you get on a bad day, your whole day could be taken up with dealing with Simone's issues. She's very loud. She can let the whole in the hall know exactly why she's in a mood, what's up with her, because she's very open in that sense as well. Uh, but she can be very difficult when she doesn't get away. I don't know how to control my emotions and I don't know how to control my feelings. I know that everybody else knows that. And I'll not, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. You need to deal with your own issues to break the cycle, get in the jail and getting into trouble and then this and then that. But how do you deal with your own issues at the end of it, do you know what I mean? I'm a single farmer. I have been for 11 years. My arms, my legs, everywhere's scarred. It's just something my day it helps me cope. When I'm away up here, I don't greet, I don't greet, I just don't greet. So see when I start greeting, that stops me greeting. See when I'm away up here, that brings me back down. See when I'm angry, I do that and that stops me being angry. Like, you just take pain colours, I cut myself. Do you know what I mean? When you are in pain, you take pain colours. When I'm in pain, I cut myself. People say, get a elastic band. Bullshit. For me, I need to see the blood. So, then I have an elastic band. How's that going to help me? Do you know what I mean? Or take my anger out and something else. How's that going? It's not going to help me. Because I need to see the blood, and then that makes me feel better. There isn't any water, but I'm going to drown. I will make a sound. My tears are pouring down. I don't know what break the cycle, I don't know. I just need to, I need to solve my issues, do you know what I mean? The root of my problem is grieving. I don't know how to grieve, I've never grieved. I will never accept that my full family's dead. I'll never accept that, never. And that's the root of my problems, my past. I hold on to my past, which means it's constantly fucking my future. It all comes down to my head. My head's fucked up, right? My head's terrible. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I'd just take my brain out of my head and I'd be all right. Someone's just trying to get herself like new t shirts. Tight tracks at the bottom, they're moaning at me and work. I need to wear work clothes. Nice shoes there. And those that don't fit me. Not Mate, nice you I've tried them there and make me look like a guy. Yeah, make me look as if I've got a fucking thing. You only know, I think today is waiting until stuff comes back to laundry. Ha ha. And then you'll have stuff. Well, I'll wait till now, look. They'll look alright, don't they? They'll be alright, won't they? Aye, we won't have an eye. Bingo. Do you know what I used to do? Gloves. See if you break a bit of glove off them. You put it on your ankle and see the flare ones. You just tie it in the bit of glove and then it makes it go tight. That's how you do it for you, Sam. See, as you shows you, you've been here far too often. I know. Yeah, you know stuff like that. I know, that's terrible. Yeah, it is. Do you know what that's it. Right, thanks a lot. Cheers. Hi. 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 You can kind of know when somebody's going to come back in, especially somebody like Simone. Simone's been out of jail her whole life and out of care. Uh, it's quite tragic, but she's used to that life as well. So she expects to come back here. And when she is here, it's stable stability. Um, a lot of the girls you can see that's the way their life is. I never knew I could draw until in here. You never say never, right? You can obviously take a different path and choose to stay here. You can, it's all about the choices you make, but... I just never say never now, cos I've totally gave up. I've never come back, I'm back in two days later, two weeks later, I'm here again. So now I'm like, I'll try not to come back, but me unlikely I'll be back, like, me unlikely I'll be here.
did you come up with that quote? What, Lisa Game Player? No, I think I, I don't know, I've said it for years. It is really in it if you think about it. Because you obviously get dealt with one, don't you? And some people get a shitty one. But I, I think Lisa Game. Very hard on it, that.